a port like any other, a day like any other, and a yacht, well, a yacht not like any other. It's a San Lorenzo SL106 model. It is 32 meters long and 7 meters wide. It has four double cabins and can count on a crew of five. It is equipped with a 16-cylinder MTU engine rated at 2,400 or 2,600 horsepower and then it has two electric engines. Why? What are they for? Today we'll have a sensory experience that we've never tried before on a motor yacht. Right, we use the sound level meter. Here at the dock, in a very quiet area, the noise is 46 decibels. Keep this value in mind. The navigating bridge is huge, but really it would be enough to have a single display showing the navigation data, engine controls and the switchboard. Now we start the engine. We don't hear any noise. We have started the electric motors and now we use them to maneuver. We are about to set sail. We've disconnected the shore power and enabled the two powerful generators called Hygen. 44 decibels, less than the value we recorded outside. Of course, we are inside the wheelhouse, but we are sailing at 10 knots, running on electric motors. 42 decibels. The owner's cabin is even more silent than the wheelhouse. Here one rests well, even at sea. Here the noise is 52 decibels. We are in the lounge on the main deck and the engine room is just below. However, this light noise seems to come from... Oh, I understand. It's coming from the wake. I climbed aboard the support boat to record, from here, the noise of the passage of the 106 San Lorenzo. Running on diesel engine, the noise is recorded by the sound level meter at 68 to 69 decibels. Now let's see switching to the electric propulsion. When in electric mode, the boat is even less noisy from the outside. How have they managed to make a yacht of this size navigate so quietly? Its weight is 115 tons at half load. To make it simple, try to imagine the equivalent weight-wise of five trucks moving at about 20 kilometers per hour without making a sound. This achievement is the result of an innovative installation designed and built by Diesel Center an Italian company based in the province of La Spezia. For many years it has specialized in large yacht propulsion systems and more. Here they have installed a hybrid diesel-electric drive. La diesel center, a discapito di questo nome, even though the name diesel center makes one only think of internal combustion engines, we actually have a dynamic and innovative company that has invested heavily in new technologies, especially in believing and knowing the life on board a yacht. La vita a bordo degli yacht significa piacere, divertimento, comfort e sostanza. Life on board of yacht means pleasure, fun, comfort, and substantially wellness and health. For us, the diesel propulsion is key it is reliable and the core of our hybrid drive. Our aim is to make sure that the boat is always highly dependable, mostly because the boat carries you and your guests, family and friends. Our highest priority is always the reliability and safety at sea. Our second priority is the comfort. Comfort doesn't always go along with the traditional diesel propulsion, like in the case of these big propulsion engines designed for these large yachts. A good solution is to combine electric motors with diesel engines. The outcome is a versatile propulsion system that can use either output properly and according to day-to-day -day needs. Quindi durante i trasferimenti ad alta velocità abbiamo i tradizionali motori diesel, ma nei momenti in cui siamo sotto costa 
e stiamo guardando delle For instance, during high speed sailing, it's possible to use the traditional diesel engines. Instead, when cruising near the coast and enjoying those beautiful coves and landscapes, it's possible to actually listen to the nature surrounding us, which is what we are interested in at that time. The quiet electric propulsion allows us to do all this. Or, if your guests like to take a dip, it's also possible to switch off all the internal combustion engines and power the utilities of this yacht, like electric cookers, air conditioning, entertainment and so on, with zero emissions for both the air and for the sea. So whoever goes swimming around the boats will never smell foul odours or even see traces of oil floating on the sea surface. For us, the comfort on board is very well enhanced by this kind of technology. Il sistema si chiama Full Parallel Hybrid. The propulsion system is called Full Parallel Hybrid Green Technology and is composed of two diesel engines, two electric motors, two generators and a high-tech system for the onboard energy control. One of the main difficulties of this type of propulsion is the integration of traditional diesel electric propulsion with the electric one. The engines are built by MTU, one of the most important manufacturers of diesel engines for ships and for pleasure or commercial crafts. MTU also builds engines for many other vehicles, from locomotives to earth-moving equipment. In short, it is a global giant. The electric motor is designed and manufactured by Diesel Center, but will be produced by MTU. It has been designed in such a way to have the same torque of the diesel engine, up to the rate of 1,000 revolutions per minute, but is actually a lot smaller. It has the equivalent output of approximately 180 horsepower, while this 16-cylinder MTU diesel develops a power of over 2,400 horses. The two motors are working on the same propeller shaft and are coupled together through a clutch to be able to be used either separately or at the same time. On board, the power can be supplied by either the shore connections or can be generated by diesel generators. Alternatively, it's possible to use the electric motors that, when coupled to the diesel engines, work as alternators. The electric power produced is controlled by this unit that also monitors the battery charge. On board this San Lorenzo, technology is at its highest level. These generators, for example, are designed with permanent magnets and variable revolutions depending on the power demand, delivering up to 150 kilowatts. If we use the generators of equivalent power with traditional technology, they would occupy half of the entire engine room space. These are instead quite small. These lithium-ion batteries are able to accumulate up to 150 kilowatt hours of energy, equivalent to the current used by a family of three in an ordinary apartment in a month. In pratica, grazie a questa tecnologia, to sum it up, thanks to this technology, you can rest at anchor, perhaps in a beautiful pristine bay, without emitting any exhaust gases and making no noise. When cruising with electric propulsion, it's possible to sail very quietly and without producing any exhaust gas. The yacht and all its utilities can be operated for over nine hours in the zero emission power mode. In displacement, it's very convenient to use the electric propulsion since only 120 kilowatts of energy are enough to sail at 9 knots. To make it simple, it's like this mega yacht is propelled by a 150 horsepower outboard engine. Amazing, isn't it? When the batteries are low, it's necessary to switch on the diesel generators that are able to produce the necessary energy and extend the use of the electric propulsion. Now I have activated the economic navigation mode and the system is optimized for minimum fuel consumption. Osservate, c'è un motore diesel in moto, l'altro invece è spento. Just observe, here a diesel engine is running while the other is off because on this shaft right now it's enough to clutch the electric motor to have the propellers rotate the same way. The other electric motor is working as an alternator 
driven by the diesel engine and all other generators are off to save fuel. In questo modo si ottiene un risparmio di carburante che arriva sino al 30%. In this configuration, the fuel consumption decreases up to 30% at 10 knots due to the fact that only one diesel engine is turned on. Right now the total fuel consumption is 62 liters per hour, not only for propulsion uses, but also to feed all the electrical services on board. If also the other diesel engine is turned on, the combined fuel consumption is 42 plus 37, which gives 79 liters per hour. To this value, it's necessary to add the consumption of two electric generators since we don't have one of the electric motors working as an alternator anymore and it's still necessary to produce energy for onboard utilities. All right, the fuel saving is evident, but is the San Lorenzo SL106 also able to go fast? One, two, three, four. Just a few seconds and it's planing. The bow rises slightly, but what increases above all else are the revolutions and the speed. I pushed hard. Look at the engines at their maximum speed, 2,350, 2,360 revolutions per minute, and the speed is 25.2 knots. It's also possible to activate the boost function. And what's happening? We are driving the propellers with four engines, the two diesel and the two electric, and the speed is 26.8 knots. 26.9, wow! With the electric propulsion noise and vibration are reduced to a minimum and you can also sleep while sailing. When you stop at anchor to swim, all electrical services on board will continue to operate, powered by onboard batteries with no emission of exhaust gases. And finally, thanks to a reduction in consumption by about 30% in displacement, well, the advantages of this full parallel hybrid green technology system designed and built by Diesel Center become quite clear.